to us, the British government was quite clear that it wanted some kind of independent investigation, but yeah. one that was genuinely independent and would look at both the role of the Israeli government, but also the responsibility that Hamas has, given that it controls Gaza Gaza's and has okay. a responsibility for these events. Gross, let's weigh in with Tom Gross. What do you think? Uh, same question, basically. A uh, deja vu feeling for you as well today? Well, yes, but let me say about uh, Britain's call for an independent investigation about the events in Gaza. First of all, Britain might want to hold an independent investigation about the civilians that died in American and British-led airstrikes in Mosul and Raqqa in the campaign against uh, ISIS over the last year or so. You know, the Pentagon has admitted that American planes have killed 801 civilians as of last uh, November and a lot more since. Britain claims to have killed only one civilian that no one really thinks is credible. I'm not judging the rights and wrongs of the campaign against ISIS and how difficult it was to avoid so-called collateral damage. But before Britain calls for an independent investigation against Israel, they might want to call for an independent investigation about their own conduct. You want to respond to that, sir? Well, we've been very clear. We, we take a great deal of care um, when we're in the campaign that we've been waging uh, against Daesh in uh, Iraq and Syria. And, and actually, I don't agree with the comment that no one finds our um, claims of only having killed one civilian incredible. We're very careful about what we did. And the fact that we actually publicly, proactively say where we've um, accidentally led to the death of civilians, I yeah. think demonstrates that we take this very seriously. We, we treat human life very carefully in our actions against Daesh, um, uh, as do the Americans.